Hi and welcome back to Garden Ninja. Now it's February here at Garden Ninja HQ. Of course it's raining and we've had about two or three weeks of really severe storms. So much so that we've had flood risks, we've had people's roads being washed away, poor people's houses getting flooding, businesses being shut down. It's been a real, real crappy month in terms of weather. However, I've been really busy here at Garden Ninja HQ preparing the garden for spring. So I'm going to take you through some of my top tips and the activity that I've been up to here at Garden Ninja HQ in preparing the garden ready for some much needed warmer weather in spring. So come on, let's get cracking. So today's the day to cut back all of these herbaceous perennials. They've given amazing structure throughout the winter, but now is the time to cut them down because all the new growth is about to burst up in between it. So if you don't cut it back, it's going to get tangled and messy. So today I've got my um, serrated gardening shear and I'm going to go around and cut down all the herbaceous. Now the garden is looking a bit barren, like a landscape from Mad Max, but trust me, there's plenty of growth about to be put on in March to fill these beds again. And what's really nice about this month is that you get the bare skeleton of the garden. So behind me you can see the gabions, you can see the outline of the bachelor multi stem trees, you've got things like primroses and the spring flowers all about to burst up. Now for some people they like to fill the garden with non-stop evergreen action, um, flowers month on month on month, but I quite like the end of February being a little pause for breath before March starts and all the craziness starts to jump up out of the beds. So if you remember late last year, probably about October in that tour, I was planting bulbs and if you have a look down here, you can start to see that they're already starting to emerge. Now if you plant bulbs, say in year one, you'll probably find that the next spring they take a while to get established, they'll probably take a few years before they really bulk up. But it's important to get them in in the autumn so that by the time you get to spring they're ready to flower. I'm going to walk over here to where I planted the quince trees last year and you'll see these two little beauties. Now these are a bit early really for, for daffodils, well, narcissi, but you see there, we've got these tiny little baby narcissi that are popping up and it really does add interest to the garden and also a really precious food source for bees and insects that might have emerged a little bit early that fancy a little bit of a pollen buffet. Now there are plenty of other jobs that you can be doing towards the end of this month. The first thing I'll be doing is pruning my roses ready for summer blooms. Winter's the perfect time to prune your roses and get them in shape for the summer. Secondly, you can start to prune your hydrangeas and I've got a guide on that on my YouTube channel so check out that for both guides on pruning roses and hydrangeas. So as you might have seen, February is all about preparation in the garden, which is why I've been cutting back all the herbaceous plants, pruning my roses, snipping my hydrangeas, and making sure everything's in the best possible shape, ready for spring. If you've liked this video, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell for notifications, so I can give you more garden design hints, tips and hacks to help you make your garden awesome. I've been Garden Ninja, happy gardening. <laughs>